In this video, I will talk about focal lens that's very important for a CCTV. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudemir Martins and today I will talk about focal lens. Let's start by looking here on my camera. So I have this model, it's a box model that has a sensor here inside. And here I have a lens. This lens is going to bring light and this light is going to hit the sensor that's here. So basically I can change the distance from the lens to the sensor by moving this. I can go far away or I can come close to the sensor. So I change this distance here and this distance is the focal distance, closer to the sensor or far away from the sensor. Here I have another model, it's another camera, but the principle is the same. So I can change here the distance from the lens to the sensor that's here inside of this plate, okay, just by moving this, okay. So let's understand this better by taking a look in here at the presentation. Here I have my lens and uh, here I have the representation of a camera. This is a lens, in fact it's a group of glass. Here I'm just going to represent as a single glass for better understanding. Okay, and here I have my sensor and then I have the rays of light coming through the lens, hitting the sensor and here my focal length. That could be three millimeters, could be 8.5, 15 or 50. It could be also be 20, 40, doesn't matter. What matter that I can change the distance from the lens to the sensor by changing the focal lens using a very focal lens, okay? So let's imagine that we have three millimeters, focal length of three millimeters. And then I have this kind of view. I have here my object that's pretty far away from the camera. The camera is inside the building. So I point in the camera through a window and I can have here uh, the formation in this part of the window, also the formation here. This is because the camera is pretty close to the window and it's using a three millimeter focal lens. That's pretty normal in CCTV. But if I change my focal lens here, I can zoom in and see better the objects there that are here, right? Uh, pay attention that I have here a visualization of the sky, of the building, and the parking lot here, and the cars. If I zoom in, I'm going to lose part of this visualization, but I have more zoom. Let's take a look at this. Let's say, for example, I change my focal lens to 8.5, and then look, I don't see the window anymore because I did a zoom in here. And then I have better visualization of the car, but I don't have I don't have the sky anymore. I see part of the building, but I have the car closer. Let's do it again. And now I have a focal length of 50 millimeter closer. And then I can do it again. Now with a focal length of 50 millimeters. And then I have the car pretty close. I can see much, much better, but no sky and not building anymore. Okay, so basically works like this, three millimeters. I have this, the same camera, the same building. And then I change to 8.5 millimeter and coming closer and closer again with 15 and closer with 50, okay? And when you're going to buy your camera, you need to buy the lens and you have to take a look here in the focal length. In this model, for example, I have focal length of 4.5 to 13.2 millimeters. Okay, so I can vary for, from 4.5 to 13 millimeters. So I can zoom in or zoom out using this focal length of this lens. And then I have another model here that's a fixed lens. In this case, I have a fixed angle. I cannot change it. Either I buy with 2.8 millimeters or three millimeter or six millimeter, and then I have no choice. I cannot change it. I buy with 2.8, it's 2.8. If I buy with three, it's three, and six is six, okay? So it works like this. It's pretty simple. If you're going to buy your camera with fixed lens, 
to put it in your office, for example, if you buy with three millimeter, you can see more of the environment, but you cannot zoom in. If you wanna see a little bit more, you can buy a camera with six millimeters. So you're getting closer, you have more zoom, but less area that you can see. If you wanna change like uh, the visualization of your area, it's better to buy a very focal lens. With very focal lens, you can change from three millimeter to six to 10 to 15, doesn't matter. It depends of the focal length of your lens. It's just simple like this, okay? So that's all for today. If you like this video, leave your comments here. Hit the thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet and click in the link in the description to download your guide. You can download your guide to learn more about CCTV, okay? So thank you very much and see you in the next video.